Sergiopoulos and some room down his left hand side and he's got past Tchaikovsky, it's a nice bit of play, a good cross, he's hasty coming in, well hip shot, Salat was comfortable with the save, the, the timing of the volley was very sweet indeed by Will Hasty. clear the ball away. Grilich now waiting for some support and that comes from Enes who skips between two. He's got past three. That was a great little run there from Robbie Enes and only some quick thinking by Curtis as he came off his line stopped the Sydney United midfielder from going all the way there. But Robbie Enes back in the side today after missing a week from suspension has had a very lively start to the match. Credit to Curtis for coming off his line quickly. Rusic now coming inside, looking for the switch ball. Well, Bell slipped there, and Ennis recognised that fact, and he's gone through the whole defence, and he's opened the scoring for Sydney United. A very classy goal indeed from Robbie Ennis. Well, he's looked dangerous in the 28 minutes that we've had in this match so far, and he's been rewarded with a goal. Babic was involved early on as he came forward from the back. Rusic's cross wasn't a good one, but Bell slipped there. Ennis took advantage, went through three or four players before just placing the ball past the goalkeeper, and that's 1-0 to Sydney United. And Rusic, who has been involved in so much of the good work for Sydney United, fittingly was still involved again, but there's no denying the quality of the goal from Robbie Ennis. Kupisak comes away with the ball. And that's a full layoff there. And Gibbsland will hope to do something with the ball now that Urich has got it. Chance here for the Falcons. Hasty. Little ball inside. Lovely little ball. Just past the post there from Isala Massey. And there's frustration for everyone here. None more so than Frank Arrock. But the Falcons opened up Sydney United there with ease. A little ball here from Hasty was an absolute gem. Took out three players. Massey came in and that wasn't far away. Working his way forward. There's a chance here for Ennis to take a second. And he needed to just take a second longer perhaps as he rushed a shot. But Frank Arrock will ask some questions about the marking in his defence there. Because the ball from Cooper Sack found Ennis in all kinds of space. He beat the offside track, but he just couldn't wrap his foot around the ball. Ennis' goal separates the two sides, and it's the Falcons nil, Sydney United one. Can Sydney United make it nine wins in a row? A tremendous achievement that they've got some defending to do here as Sergiopoulos with a marauding run down that left hand side and Rudan it was he bundled him back down to work and rightly so that's a yellow card handed out by Jerry Connolly Sergiopoulos gets some encouragement from his teammates as he's dragged back to his feet but it was a great run we've seen him do that on two or three occasions here tonight he went past Rudan. And Sturgiopoulos in some pain. And Rudan, well, it almost looked as though he tried to just pull out of the challenge. But he still caught Sturgiopoulos. And now United have some defending to do. Which land still in and around the penalty area. Cooper Sack clears it away. Nice little touch on. Marusic inside. Free kick taken quickly. That's a great ball through the centre. Drillich onto it. The goal will go back to Curtis. Who just calmly plays it out to his left fullback. And that's another mistake. Drillich. And he was surprised to pick up the ball. Now he's got support from Marusic. Back to David Drillich again. The Falcons can clear the ball away. Good positive run by Alex Burich. 
man in the centre. It's Massey. Chance here for the Falcons. The equaliser. Tremendous goal that from Isala Massey. And the pace of that Falcons attack just done to the United. Milicic through the centre. Ante Milicic. Can he finish it off? It's across the goal. And Hasty at the back post. Wasn't prepared to try and play the ball away. He just wanted to clear the danger. But Ante Bilicic, who has made a trademark of himself almost this season, cutting in from that left-hand side. And Hasty cleared the danger. Corner to United. Babic, let it run. Here's Cooper Sack. Babic again. Gitzland struggling to clear the ball away. And Curtis in the end went down to his right. Final shot on goal. Wasn't really going to cause a problem for him, but just a few comments going on after the incident there between Grilic and Sergiopoulos. The Falcons still at times just look a little bit shaky in defence. Milicic it was who got the shot on goal. And Curtis was just playing it safe by going down to his right-hand side. I think it may have actually missed. The time runs out here in Falcon Park. Is there three points in it for either of these two sides? And that's it to go either way as Spetko tries to work away through the centre. Osman waiting for some options from his side. Go to Sydney United defender. And here is a chance now. And that is the winner. Truly from Ante Milicic. The Falcons exposed at the far post. There was nothing that Curtis can do. And Milicic, who scored in his last two games, gets another tonight. Well, the Falcons have got just a few minutes to get back into this game, but that looks like the winner from Ante Milicic. And that's a quality through ball to him. Milicic just the keeper to beat. He did that perfectly. And United have the lead. Rudan with the header down to Markovac. And just look at the quality of the ball outside of the foot, behind the defence. Milicic one touch. Past Curtis and United's run is continuing. Can the Falcons respond? Well, that's a great ball. Jimenez coming in. Messi through again. Good play by the Fijian. That's Manoa Messi. The time ran out for the Gibson Falcons. No goals tonight for David Drillich. But this marvellous run for Sydney United continues. Franco Cholina's side have won again. And the final score here is the Good Fan Falcons 1, Sydney United 2. Played from the right. The ball dropped, in fact, by Zelko Kalex. And what a moment for Shane Price. Newcastle though fired up for the occasion. And Zane checked there by Cooper Shack. This time the referee... Gives Zane the benefit of the decision and the card comes out for Bellamy Kupershek. Shane Price, the goal scorer, has moved forward. The ball comes in low and flat. The header by Zane and it's Newcastle in front. What a comeback this is from the breakers. Look at the delight on that Newcastle bench. Clayton Zane celebrates in some style. And the home side take the lead against the league leaders, Sydney United, have not been beaten this season but all of a sudden that record is under threat and Clayton Zane is the scorer he's been cautioned in fact for taking his shirt off and celebrating a little bit over enthusiastically that won't disturb him though they have drawn five of their ten matches so they're not that far away from turning those sort of results into victories and that's a big difference Michael because that's that's what really matters it's incredible to A 
goal nonetheless for Newcastle and it was a gift for Jason Bennett. Ericsson Cup as we check the league table and despite Sydney United's first loss of the season, the Pumas stay on top but their advantage over second place Brisbane is reduced to just two points. Adelaide City are the big movers of the weekend. The Zebras seem to have overcome their traditional slow start, moving into third place. South Melbourne's fourth successive victory keeps them in fourth spot. Marconi jumps into the top six for the first time in many weeks, with Wollongong also returning. Perth Glory are back in the lower half of a congested table. UTS Olympic are slipping further behind, while the Melbourne Knights and...